Hi Stewie, let's break down your thumbnails and animations. So let's start with this one. Uh, the thumbnail looks quite good. There are a few points I would address. Probably the symmetry uh, in this thing. We can make it more interesting by adding some variety and contrast and not making everything exactly the same size and length as you can see here and to balance it out some in some way so mm, I guess the transition from this stage to this stage is not very clear so we'll probably need another frame to clarify what's happening here and how we can transition from this flash uh, to this kind of string or whatever the scene is and some kind of smoke clouds so I guess we would probably add another frame there just to clarify the motion and the transition uh, as it is now it seems a little bit unclear especially when this scene tightens up and swirls at the next frame and to get that in motion we probably need to make it broader here and appear from somewhere and that's not clear from these two frames alone. So, talking about these white, white things, I love the overall shape. Maybe we can make it even more stylized, in a sense, because these masses are a bit too similar. Uh, we probably can add a little bit more direction to the smoke and a, bit, a little bit more volume and talking about the white rays uh, mm, <clears throat> talking about composition this part doesn't really fit the overall motion pattern of the animation and talking about white rays uh, I would probably think more about the direction and the form of these rays as now the position of this race is a little bit misleading maybe or maybe just compositionally unbalanced I would probably do something like that so get ray from here to give it ray from there to add more volume, something like that. Maybe in a different angle. We can vary the width and the length of this race. And it would probably look like this. So it depends on the style, but I guess we need more balance in the overall composition and to really make it shine so uh, in this one I like the overall feel of the animation uh, but I would probably work a little more on the volumes themselves because they don't feel very interesting in terms of the design and the structure you can swirl it like that of course but you probably should make the inner light part more interesting than see clearly okay let's give it a dark tone dark tone so 
First of all, is this a smoke or is this some kind of matter? Depending on the scene that you want to show, I would change the way the forms fold and interact with each other. For the smoke I would probably make it something more like that. And add more interesting, more complex shape for the light layer. We can probably make the shapes go from the camera as well, so that we get a complete twist. Again, thinking about direction and not making uh, the rays too similar in position and direction or we get this kind of look and so all the rays come in pairs and in pairs they are too similar to each other that's why it seems a little bit strange Maybe we can evolve the entire shape as well, but it depends on the style and on the way you imagined it, of course. So it's just more like my version. And again, like on the previous frame, you can make it more dynamic by varying the sizes and the thickness of these rays as well as the position. So this rays may not just go from behind the smoke, they may actually go all the way from this light parts of the smoke all throughout the smoke and it will give our smoke design and the whole animation the entire animation a little bit more volume we can have a bigger light shape behind of course give it a clear silhouette and to make it look even more rudimentary we can add then a ring light during post effects stage and this will make the effect pop up a little bit more these ring scenes also look quite good but we can probably vary the angles, have some variation in the angles and the position of these, these scenes. We can make one go in that direction, one in this direction, maybe it will be more similar. Thinner. and so on so let's move on to the next animation oh next thumbnail so let's keep this one and keep this one so the next animation or the next thumbnail uh, again as uh, the initial frames are okay Mm. 
This is kind of impact free. It seems quite nice. You would probably need to do more of them to make the transition and the motion interesting. Uh, I want to add one thing about impact frames. When you have impact frames, you can have much bigger change in volume and size between frames. So you can almost straight up go from this to this frame, especially if you add some kind of mass indication here then you can go all the way to here straight up on this frame you would probably have to emphasize the smoke shapes and position a little bit more clearly and add some dynamics in the smoke in terms of shadows and position so we can <coughs> emphasize the direction and the volume of the smoke coming at the camera and from the camera as well And probably the same thing here, the shapes, the forms are too similar and we don't have forms that are facing the camera and going away from the camera. And the transition between this one and this one won't actually work because it's almost at the same position and the forms are way lower than on the frequency frame so we'd probably need something like that of course we can work on the design again not to make it too similar in every part Again, we can work on the volumes and on the dynamics here. So it's pushed up. Maybe it's pushed to the side here. get a little bit more masses here to make it different from this part a little more different and add some indication of light shapes and shadows here and so on so on this frame I like the idea behind this smoke, this part of smoke. We can play a little bit more with the particles and the ring shape to vary this, to change the thickness in some parts more than other parts. And I would probably delete this element because. For now I don't understand what is that, uh, how and when it appears and what it's supposed to represent and it doesn't really blend well compositionally with other elements. So you'd need to work a little bit more on that one. So. Let's start break breaking down your animation. <laughs> <laughs> 